We live in a world where femininity, marriages, family, and courting is no longer valued. We live in hookup culture, situationships, and struggle love. The number one reason women struggle in long-term relationships, number one, femininity, and number two, staying in a relationship or entertaining people longer than the woman should. My name is Tania DeVita, and I'm a relationship and femininity coach. I've been married for 12 years, and I want to help you get on your feminine journey and event for the right man today. For more of my content, you can visit MrsDanielDeVita.com, or you can go to YouTube, Instagram, or my Facebook page. Get on your feminine journey today. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Mrs. Danielle DeVita. If you like the content, please subscribe. Follow me on uh, Instagram and Facebook. So I have a video for you today. And this video, it does not provide the actual question that was asked, but this is the answer that's provided. And I'll go into detail with the assumption that the question um, had to do with, um, are you willing to cook and clean? Let's watch this video. It's, women are not slaves. I don't care what nobody feel like. Women, I don't. I don't care. I don't care. Black <laughs> yeah. women. Black women. You are not a slave. You've been a slave for too long, baby. You carry these queens and these kings. Do what you gotta do. Okay. I don't cook. I don't clean. But let Aye. me tell you, I got Aye. this ring. <laughs> So when I hear this con this thing about slavery, I think it's a slap in the face if you are black, definitely. It's a slap in the face to your ancestor to try to use slavery um, in the same breath as cooking and cleaning for your own family. That includes you. Um, if you are not black and you use that, it shows that this is why we have this thing in the country that we have, that we think so little of slavery that we can use both of these analogies, one, taking care of your family, and two, where someone was taken from a whole nother continent and forced to do uh, manual labor and, and, and a plethora of other things for um, a whole group of people. Um, and I think that when you say this, it makes me wonder if you're happy with the person that you're with, because most of the time when you're happy, you love doing these things. Like you're not going to say, oh my God, you know, every now and then I do understand it's like a chore to, to, um, adulting itself sometimes can be a chore, but all in all, when you're happy with your family, when you're happy with your man, you don't mind doing for him. You don't mind cooking. You don't mind cleaning, especially since this is the home in which you live. You don't mind cleaning it. Um, and you don't mind cooking because one, you want to eat too. Two, it saves on money. That's more money for you all rather than going out all the time. I understand if you want to go out, if you have the time, if you have the money, great. But it is healthy to eat at home. Sometimes you're in a position where you have to be at home, like in 2020. So it is important to understand, get with the person that you have a connection with, because then these things like submission and cooking and cleaning won't seem like, you know, scary words. These terms won't be, uh, you know, looming over your head. This is going to be something that you appreciate, that you want to do to show your respect and your love for this man that you decided to be with. Um, and then just also in the video, you know, you're listening to music that's telling you, you know, you don't have to do all those things, but they're doing those very same things. So listen to someone who's been married and they're going to be honest with you because while someone could be married and they could be telling you one other thing, you want to listen to someone who's doing what they say and saying what they do. And I understand that's music. That's how it is. But I'm here to tell you, I've been married for 12 years. I'm happy with the man that I'm with and I appreciate him. And to do that in return, I clean, I cook. That's part of also being hygienic as well, the cleaning part. But yes, he cooks as well. But I do want to do that to show that I do love him. I also want to do that for my children. And it saves on money and it helps make sure that you keep um, healthy food because sometimes when you go out all the time you're eating things that are unhealthy and then that goes that leads to weight gain which is a whole nother issue that a lot of men like to talk about as far as women not taking care of their health but that's all i have for you thanks for tuning in to mrs daniel tavita take care